this is a Cave Blazers Daily Challenge for the 5th of June. And, okay, that looks like the Ascension Blessing, which I think increases your range damage while you're flying. And the Glide Blessing, which is no drop on your arrows. Less treasure, harder bosses. Okay, this is gonna suck, I suspect. Um, which type of sword did I get? Okay, it's just a good one. It's a good old sword. Make sure I got these correct. Yeah, not bad. So I'm playing quite a lot of this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Since the last video went up. And learning how not to make mistakes like that mistake I just made. Oh, wow. That's this early. I'm just going to shut up for a second because I'm clearly shanking this at the Olympic level. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the most short-lived run ever. Oh, God. Alright, I'll try to justify my incompetence just a little bit. Um, I don't think this even works. I've never... Oh, wait, hang on. That's not what I think. I was thinking of the Martyr's Blessing. Uh, so, since I last put a video up of this, I've played kind of a shitload of it. And... Uh, but not the daily runs. Um, you unlock uh, these things called perks that let you change your starting loadout. And there's also relics, of which I currently only have one, but there are others you can get, um, which provide a benefit and a drawback, I assume. Well, that's what the first one does anyway. Anyway, to cut a long story short, the uh, build I've been playing with the most has extremely high damage and constant vampirism. So you can tend to, provided you're not too incautious, you can absorb a lot of damage and you also kill everything for pretty much uh, the whole game in one hit. The rules I'm playing with right now are not those. So it's taking a little bit of adjustment. Because if you don't have Endless Vampirism, Cave Blazers is a pretty nasty game of attrition where you kind of work out you're fucked a long time before you actually die. Uh, particularly if you roll up to one of the nastier bosses with 20 HP and you go, well, I'm probably not going to live through this. Anyway. Oh. I've contained the feed a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, so plus three damage for being in the air. That's not too bad. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, I wish there was a way to rebind the range controls from right thumbstick to A button and the left thumbstick. Because it's super fiddly. Alright, I'm just going to fire this until one of them hits it. Because it's not worth going over there and getting shot. Oh, actually. Boom. Boom. Everybody wins. So slimes only deal damage when they are jumping. And they deal damage, like it's omnidirectional. They don't just damage you if they fall you, they damage you if they touch you. Ouch. And so if you miss your initial swing, which I did there, usually not worth going for a second one, just shut the fuck away and try again later. As I kind of predicted at the top, the less treasure... Oh, hello bow. Just eat those words. Less treasure uh, could be kind of a bad thing. Knock back, I see. Alright. That is super awkward. <laughs> Item. Oh yeah, I should equip some of the stuff I picked up. Oh, that would have been good. Crystal Skull's a bit mediocre. I also figured out what these things do. If you shoot all of them in a level, it gives you access to a, an arena fight. Um, which, I mean, unless you've gotten lucky with blessings and stuff, you're probably going to lose because it's quite difficult. Uh, and that unlocks the first of the relics, uh, which I've already got, so there's not much point in doing it. 
unless I find some insanely good item just down here, which does make it worth it. I see you, Spikes. I see you waiting for me to jump into you. Three blessings. Oh. They both suck. One of them is, I think, that looks like endurance or toughness, which is take less. Did this become really analog while I wasn't looking? Or is that. Oh, it's because of the bow. It just has some slight random angle on it. That's really inconvenient, and I don't like it at all. In fact, I guess the benefit of these is that they have very low travel time. Ooh, that is a full health shrine. Well, actually, it's, it's a plus 100 health shrine. I also solved the mystery of why its price changes. It's dependent on your current health. We have learned a lot. Oh, this magic item makes you immune to projectiles. It's basically useless at this stage, because I, I don't think I've even... Oh, actually, there were bats in level 1. I have not met a lot of enemies that do range damage yet. That's 4 to 6, that's 6 to 8. Alright, hello, Bo, you're slightly better. I... can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there. <laughs> Damn it! All that health, just out of reach. Oh, and just like... Aha! There we go. The reason why the right stick is so awkward is it requires you to take your thumb off the controls for melee combat when you're doing ranged combat, which means if you are clumsy and crippled like me, it's difficult to get it back on in time in order to avoid being stabbed by orcs. Okay. Two for a blessing. That's enemies drop loot. This is a blessing of the slug, which falls into the category of, of blessings that do do stuff when things hit you. So if you're playing well, they never activate, and the effects are usually minuscule anyway. So those are shit. safe to run to. Ice bow. Chance on hit to slow. 4 to 6, 6 to 8 is so still better. Uh, I haven't found a single piece of food either. That would be the daily restriction, less food. tell a little about these guys from their costumes. Nope, I was about to posit that having a um, bandana on meant he wouldn't attack at range, but I was wrong. Oh my god. Orcish ring, that's got uh, damage resist, but it farts up your ranged options, which you're going to need for the boss. I'm really hoping that the boss is not the jellyfish. Every other boss I think I can kill without getting hit, but the jellyfish has... It's either unavoidable or it's random. He does this move where he grabs you. Which I can't always avoid. Um, which at 14 health will definitely kill me.
poison ring. It's probably useless. Is there any uh, 12 on the ground? What's meant to be plus 3? Oh, wait, everything's a, on a damage range. That's neat. So enemies can pick up items if you leave them alone, and I didn't realize that slimes could do it as well. Um, and things like potions they'll even use. Oh, shit. I should have been in exploiting my increased range knockback more than I have been. Wow, I can really toss them around. Combine items um, that are the same on altars. I have a super orcish ring. Aha! Which removes its downsides. That's plus 4 melee damage, plus 10% damage resist, which I think I probably want. These guys who constantly spawn behind you makes me feel like I'm playing Dead Mines in vanilla World of Warcraft. It's a uh, deep reference. Alright, 14 health to kill the boss. I'm not optimistic, but I do have a yellow potion, which I'm sure will make all the difference. I've also got three shield runes. Oh, no, I've got two shield runes. Damn it. <laughs> I was making really heavily on... Oh. Come on. I mean, when I go through the boss door, all I'm going to do is die, so... I may as well dick around trying to get that crate. Oh. And a green potion. Alright, one of these potions may be my salvation. So, let's see what boss card we drew. <clears throat> I hear s Oh, okay, no. <laughs> I'm really fucked. Uh, yeah, absolutely no way I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Um, cool. Oh, let's drink some potions. Yeah! <laughs> That's how it's done! <laughs> oh, I unlocked space balls. That's lovely. <laughs> Alright, played poorly and died. That's the daily for you. I don't know if you can see this, you probably can't. Hang on a second. Uh, this is the error message that you get when you're making a game in Game Maker and you do something that makes it choke, and Game Maker needs to tell you that you done goofed. Cave Blazers, you done goofed. Without going into too much technical detail, what this message says to me is that I killed the game with my incompetence.